it's been a long journey and uh, yeah you know uh, Good afternoon, Eduardo. Good afternoon, sir. How you doing? I'm doing great. It's a beautiful day in Kiev, Ukraine, and uh, you're a lucky man. Maybe you've met the one, huh? Yes, I surely hope so. Uh -huh. Yes. You look like you say that with a, a labored, heavy heart a little bit. If I well, you say. know, based on previous experience, uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. many heartbreaks yeah. makes, you, makes you doubt sometimes. But, I hear you. Know, you. Uh, yeah. It's been a long journey and, uh, yeah. you know, uh, been single for many years and back home you just can't find a decent lady. Mm -hmm. That was my first question for you actually. Mm -hmm. you know, tell us about, if you can compare for guys out there that are maybe contemplating going on this jury, journey to find a Slavic wife. but. They're scared beyond, beyond belief because they hear all of the scam stories and just they know it's shark infested waters and maybe they're playing a little bit in paper, letter, you know, online. Uh, so what would you have to say to them uh, in terms of uh, whatever you want to say? Yes, from, from what I've seen, a lot of these guys just fall for it and it's pretty, pretty depressing how, how much emotional and financial let down these guys go through yeah and my advice is just do do thorough research just go in depth and just anything that has to do with i guess i don't know if this is a proper term the male order bride industry yeah just just look it up do your intense research and Just go along with your gut. Mm -hmm. Good advice. Mm -hmm. That's why I refer to you as a virgin because you're one of the very few guys uh, that come to us as a client. And, you know, I call you a virgin because you haven't been caught up in all the scam world. You pretty much, uh, well, you had a few wrinkles there uh, 10 years ago or so, but then you seem to bypass most of the scams that most guys get caught up in. So how did you do it? Yeah. Well, scams comes in all kinds of shapes and forms, even though it may not be, uh, let's say, a great amount that you lose, but I would say just some of these women can be very, very evil, mm -hmm. so you have to watch out. Mm -hmm. You know, they have a nefarious agenda and you have to look through that. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, my experience was, uh, you talk about the, the quite time. devastating, yeah, back in uh, 2006, back in Russia, and uh, I met her through some agency, the experience was so bad that I just forgot what the name of that agency was, but, oh, not important, uh, yeah, 11 years ago, a long time ago. 11 years ago, the fall of 2006. Yeah, right around September. Before smartphones were, was the thing, you know. You had to correspond through. What I had to do was buy a calling card and call her every Sunday mm -hmm. because that's the only time I had based on my very busy schedule at work. Mm -hmm. And yeah, she seemed like a fun-loving girl, but once I met her in person, face-to-face, -face, different story. And you'd correspond, you'd call her every Sunday for how long? I'm gonna say about a year and a half because uh, I met her. Wow. So you, you, you think you've talked to somebody on the phone every Sunday for a year and a half, you think you know them pretty well. Yeah, exactly. And then you went there, you went to yeah. a little town, Russia. Yeah. to her hometown and met with her and what happened? It was just, she just seemed indifferent once I met her in person. Uh, indifferent. Just, you could tell right off the bat that she just 
had a hidden agenda. Mm -hmm. And she had a plan, of course. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's hard, yeah. You went through a heck of a, mm -hmm. heck of a situation with that. When you're fully invested in her, and you think you're gonna have a future, and then you just, the victim of a yeah, you know, fucking uh, cruel joke, right? I really thought she was the one. Mm -hmm. And I should have known, like, beforehand. Because when we were supposed to meet the first time, I uh, actually bought my airline ticket. And I had her actually cancel because she told me that she had met someone else and I find out later this this someone else was a married man but I don't know what was wrong with me I guess I was just blind I guess that's the word to well, call that's it that's why we have that expression blinded by love yeah blinded you know? by love we, we get blinded by love yeah I just thought okay uh, I'm gonna give this girl a second chance and because mm -hmm. she jammed on you mm -hmm. and you missed your flight or you had to cancel and you lost out on the flight and just just to mention it I didn't pay any insurance for this flight so mm -hmm. that was just I threw my money away yeah so and then when you did go to see her mm -hmm. some many months later what happened there is the end result? Not good. Just met her in person, just... Well, I just, we were just incompatible. Just mm -hmm. the personal interactions we had. Uh, just, we had arguments over stupid little things. Mm -hmm. And. Like I said, she just had an agenda. What was her agenda? Ripped me off. Mm -hmm. uh, you told me off camera she slipped you a Mickey Finn. Yeah, vodka. you know, try to try to spike your vodka. And, uh huh. And then you passed out she, in the room. She, she tried, she tried to, to like get me uh, mm -hmm. Inebriated to the point where I wasn't fully conscious mm -hmm. and just try to get my money. Mm -hmm. But, you know, uh, she wasn't that smart. She didn't get it. You had No, a, no. Luckily, I had a personal lock. Yeah. So, yeah. she didn't achieve her master plan. And, you know, and it, it, as bad as it was, the scariest thing is, too, it could have been worse. There are stories in these countries, in the Slavic mm -hmm. countries, where it's absolutely mind-boggling here. They will, they did back in that day, you know, take, uh, take a person's flat, hold the, a gun at the owner's head, and make them sign documents with no notary, no lawyer. Well, wow. Like pretty crazy things. It was desperate times. Yeah. You came out of that, let's, let's, let's switch it up to a more optimistic note. I mean, the thing is, but the thing is, I mean, I really appreciate you being so vulnerable on camera like this, uh, Eduardo, because uh, this can really mess us up when we have a bad experience like this. And the thing is, this isn't fun and games. We're just looking for a happy life, for a good woman to enjoy life with, to have kids, right? You're single, never married, no kids. And that's your heart's desire, to have a family, right? Yes. And, and, and you get stabbed in the back and in the heart so badly, you're, you're 10 years to recover before you're even ready to, to try again. I just have to mention one thing. Yeah, yeah. Oh. My mother was very... Instrumental, uh, very instrumental. Uh, she's a, I'm gonna say, uh, 
very practicing Catholic mm -hmm. in her own way, so. Mm -hmm. You know, like every other mother concerned about her child, mm -hmm. she uh, prayed for me. And wow. prayed for me, for my guardian angel. And the security guy at that hotel was a guardian angel of some sorts. Mm -hmm. And he helped me out before things got ugly. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, before her uh, nefarious plan took effect, that was prevented thanks, thanks to him. That's, that's, that's incredible. I totally believe in guardian angels. There's a dark side to this life and there's a light side to this life. And so, thank God for your guardian angel. The thing is, why this is so precious, you being vulnerable like this and willing to share, is because I think the world needs to see that this ugly business and these women that have these nefarious, uh, like you say, uh, hidden agendas, and they'll play with a guy's emotions for the almighty dollar, they don't realize how, how it can mess us up. and mess us up for a decade, you know, of... Mm -hmm. of Kind of, kind of lost a decade of your life, uh, given up on looking for the one because of this. You know? Yeah, after that experience, uh, I was put off by the whole thing. Yeah, you know, and yeah, like looking, looking to a Slavic country to find mm -hmm. your half because of the situation. What happened to you?